I am not alone. Paul is here with me. So is the gyms and pack rat Scootland. It is time to name Paz's squid. He said I can name him whatever I want. And since he's running a hitman service, I thought Agent 47 would be perfect. That's the name of, uh, you know, Hitman the game. That's that's him. He's Agent 47. 47th? <laughs> he's Agent 47. So, boom! We're going to name his squid Agent 47, I think. I think he's going to like that a lot. Um, what do I have in here? I keep checking. That's a speed 2 potion, right? I'm not interested in speed 2. Let's go get his squid. Might need more dirt than that, but for now, we should be fine. Whoa! Hello! There goes all my torches. I meant to open the door and not place water on the wall. I don't think my torches are down low anyway. No, we're good. Let's go and get that squid into his tank. It's gonna be a tough job, but we can handle it. We are professionals, and um, we get the job done. Pause and pause. He's the target of the death games. I would love to get him because he got me, but guess what? He's not on. The Jims is on, and I think he's AFK because I said, hey, Jimothy, and he didn't reply. Maybe he doesn't like the nickname Jimothy. By the way, yes, you could have put ice here, but guess what? I forgot. Things happen. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. There's some squid there. Okay. Um, I'm not going to name him just yet because stuff might happen. Why is this boat on the shore? Anyway, uh, let, let me just get this uh, tunnel the, the only problem is the vertical tunnel aspect of things, so I have to really plan that out. So I'm going to try to do it. Let's see. Yeah, this will work. So something like this. Uh, yeah, this sort of diameter should be enough for me, or should I, I, sh I should be able to get the squid in here using this system. So here's the plan. I got a little netherrack canal. I originally came with uh, just a stack of dirt. <laughs> I ended up using four stacks of netherrack. So yeah, the dirt is not enough. Anyway, uh, I guess I could have just dropped him right in here, but that's okay. We have the four pieces of red stained clay. We're gonna we're gonna walk him. We're gonna leash him right through the canal. Why is this? Okay, that fixes one of them. I guess it doesn't need to be all smooth and stuff. The current is pushing me away though. There's a current here which I need to fix. There we go. I think that should be fine. We're totally in control. I got the dive bucket 9000 on my face and it is doing its job and hopefully, ah, squid is still there. Squid is still there. So all we have to do is leash him all the way up through here which shouldn't be too much of a problem especially with the dive bucket 9000. Um, and the squid's right over there. This is going to be one of our easier transfers I think. Let's get the lead out. No, nope, that, that's not getting the lead out at all. Here we go. Agent 47. Here we go, buddy. Come on. See, I don't know if he's going to be able to come through this monstrosity of a... F of a... Of a... Okay. <laughs> he didn't even make it past the first sand barrier, which is unfortunate. Uh, Where's the lead? Right here. Okay, pal. You're going to have to, like... Swim upwards just for a... I can't leash him now. There we go. Come on. I might have to clear out the sand here. Let me see. If I, like, get high up. If I get high up... Will he... Whoa! He just jumped. Okay. He's not taking damage, is he? Oh, I'm just getting major lag. Um... Well, this isn't good. Hold on a second. Well, so much for the squid. I logged out, logged back in, and he was gone. Uh, in fact, he might even be dead. Let me just clear out this sand. It'll make things easier. Right, we should have an easier time now. Hopefully. Uh-huh. Come on. Up one more. Good. Now, look at this. It's free sailing through here. This is going to be the easiest transport ever. You know, when I first started doing this whole squid thing... There's people on the Reddit that came up with a genius idea to use mine carts and uh, like uh, breathing sections and stuff for... Uh-oh, this, this could be trouble. 
you are not on there we go um yeah like really cool ideas but man they looked so much more trouble than they really needed to be i mean this is this is fine we'll we'll get we'll get by with this really we will i promise as i sit here modifying stuff but it's just it just seems like so much less work and definitely less resource intensive too cuz those those things were using like iron like nobody's business hey buddy can you like not i think maybe the current is messing him up over there I'm just gonna keep going up, and he's gonna, he's probably gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Right in there, buddy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I think he's like, he's probably taking a bunch of damage because he's sitting on the shore now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Right in there, buddy. There you go. I wish you could push them like before. You can't really push animals like you used to. <laughs> you can't push animals like you used to. Oh, come on. All right, let me fix this over here then. Uh, let's go with, uh, something like that. I don't think any of this is gonna help, really. Uh, yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it. Here we go. Easy picking. Smooth sailing. Come on, squiddy. Now here might be a problem, but if we just pillar up like this, I'll force him to. <gasps> okay, not too high up there. Oh, I just took some damage. This way, this way, this way. Why aren't you in the water? Why are you floating above the water? There you go, pal. <laughs> oh my God, these things make me nervous. All right, now you got to come in through here. He is. I think he's in. I think he's in. Bang, 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 bang. You're trapped inside here. All right, Agent 47. You are now a pet. Agent 47 for pause on pause. He's going to love it, I think. We should go check him out. I'm going to take this all apart now. Uh, I should probably, yeah, I need to cover all this water up. Otherwise, it's going to be a big mess. And pause is not going to like that. There we go. The land has been restored to its former glory. The, yeah, I even filled in the river a little bit. Oh, that, that bu bugs me, though. I gotta fix this quick. There we go. Come on. There we go. So, yeah. Um, everything looks great. I have not checked out Agent 47 in his tank yet in his natural habitat. Hopefully, he's having a great time. Agent 47. Look at him go, folks. It looks like he's actually swimming in front of the reeds. When in actuality, he is not. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh man. The lights on? Oh, they're on. No, oh, they were they were off. Am I? Did that flash? Why does it do that? I'm not sure why it does that. Because sometimes it does it, and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe put another like repeater on delay or something. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to look into that. But this is it. This is him, Agent 47. Um, can you check out his name? I know you can do it through Ethos tank, but maybe we're just a little too far away. Or maybe the the, the curvature of the tank does not allow it. Hmm, should we leave pause a note? I ah oh man, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's leave him a note. Oh, there's Perfect, look at that. We're gonna use one of his signs because it's his tank now. Uh Agent 47. Let's just leave that there. Oh, he's really cool. Hey buddy! You like your new home? Who wants to be out in the wild? You could be prey to Oh my god, look at all the squid over here now. They just spawned there too. They were not there two seconds ago as you guys were witness to. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good, this little this little river. It's only one high. Oh no, that one's too high, I guess. And there's you know, people I'm pretty sure creepers have been exploding here, and people have not been repairing the landscape, which is not good. You must be good to Mother Nature, people. Alright guys, let's go off to do something else. Another job well done. By the way, I believe we have another customer here pretty soon. So business is really booming. We've made 
25 diamonds so far, I think. Uh, from from the squid service, Ethel gave us 15, if I remember correctly. He gave us five or 10 plus five tip. Pons gave us 10 diamonds plus some quartz and stuff, and his, and he provided his own name tag. So that's a that's that's a fair deal. Um, so yeah, we've made 25 diamonds. That's pretty good. That looks really good though. I like this guy. I love this corner tank, man. If if Pons designs the building around the tank, it's gonna be amazing. Anyway, let's go do something else. All right, dudes and dudettes, it is finally time to start working on this house a little bit more. I want to make this entrance here a little better. This entrance right now looks kind of crappy. Uh, so we're going to fix it, hopefully. Hopefully it looks fantastic after we're done. Chances are that it will. <laughs> I don't know why those are the chances, but let's just say that it will. Um, I'm going to try some stuff that I don't think I've tried before. It's sort of a circular step. A circular... Um... I don't know, stair path? I have no idea. But we'll see what it turns out like. Basically, I want small circles leading up to much larger circles. I need to fix this area around here. This is not this is not looking good. I think I'm just going to go with crops, honestly, instead of... Well, I guess these are crops, too. I mean, like, these leafy things instead of uh, bothering with melons and... And pumpkins. I don't know. I might fix this whole part down here. Not the not the back, because I kind of oh I just messed that up. I kind of like that there's this much stuff over here, but I'm not too sure about the melons and pumpkins. Anyway, let's uh, okay. So let's let's do this. So how far up? Let's start it here. Ooh, this might be a problem. Um, I do have now. I can't place these right. We want it to be contrasting, so I want white quartz here, and then this stuff. Yeah, all right, I'm going to figure this out. Whoa, oh, never mind. I thought I saw something weird. I'll be right back. i got to get some uh, smooth stone slabs anyway. So let's start with the most recognizable shape that you can have. Um, as close to a circle as you can get, I guess. Wait, should I start it here? Let's start it here. Let's see what that looks like. So we're going to go with um, the three. It's like three, three. Ooh, this is probably going to be pretty big. By the way, I have a beefy tune. Oh, my gosh. Beef's got a beefy tune. Yeah, it's been a long time, but um, I haven't really been listening to too much music. But with all this driving down to Toronto where uh, my parents live, I, I've been listening to a lot more. I don't I don't know if I think that should be one lower, I think. <laughs> I think that should be one lower, I think. Uh yeah. I've been listening to the radio a lot more, and there's this one song, I think I've mentioned Metric in the past. Uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned them as one of my beefy tunes, but I love that band and they they have a new single out. I guess it's not that new, but I've been listening to it recently. And I love it. So maybe you guys will love it. Um it's called Underwater, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Check it out. Enjoy the Muzax because uh, I think it's a great tune. It doesn't have that many views. I mean, comparatively speaking, it's only got like 700,000 views or something, which is it's strange for a music video, isn't it? Um, especially when they're pretty well known, I would think. I don't know, maybe they're not as well known as I think. Let me think here. <laughs> Speaking of thinking, um, it, do I want to put the other circle? See, I can't put it really, I can put it underneath actually because that's the upper half, but then the next layer I won't be able to. I want to sort of layer these um, as, yeah, it's hard to explain, but, oh, I need, I need more. Do I, do I have a workbench around here somewhere? There might be, is there still one down here? Come on, sprint guy. I can't wait until I, I'll be able to put villagers down here, and zombies won't track them and get them. I guess maybe, uh, maybe the zombies won't track them in here. I don't know. I just don't want to cause lag, so I'm not even gonna take the chance. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Yeah, if that, if I can pull this off, it's gonna look really nice. Now the problem is, let's use this as a stepping stone, actually. Do I like this, or should I inset this one too? I think I should. So it would start like here. 
would be one, two, three, so it would be something like, like this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? But it's all in my head. It's all in my head. I want like half circle to, to step out. And then this one needs to start further in as well. You can see why these melons and stuff are going to be a problem. So this one would start in here, too. And this is why I brought this over, so I can make more of these. Uh, let's just make a whole whack of them. I know I'm going to need them eventually. So the next step up would be... Nope. Yeah, I think that would be the next... Stop misplacing these stairs, man. What the heck? Two, three. Let's see this. Yo, this is going to look great, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Um, two, three. No. Behave yourself. Let's fill this all in. Am I leaving it too far out? That's my question now. Oh, wait. That's wrong. It's like this. Should I, should I inset the circles more? But then I don't think they'll look like circles. You know what I'm saying? Home slices? Alright, the next one needs to be this one, which I don't think I'll be able to place underneath. Um, in fact, how the heck? It would start here. Yeah, I can't place it underneath. But I could place it... It'll still look like circles, it just won't have the underneath factor, which you can't really see anyway. So I would have to start it here. So, um, man, this is getting complicated. This this next one's five wide, though. So it would start here is where this one started, two blocks in. So if I do the same thing, two blocks in, it would start here, which would make it huge. Mm, I need to rethink this. Yeah, I think I need to inset them more. Okay, just give, give me a second. So, this is the look I was going for. Oh, you know what? I could sleep and get the night. Nobody's nobody's online. Nobody's online. Nobody likes this game anymore. I'm all alone. There's a guy right there. Who's that guy? Is that a skeleton? That's a skeleton. Do you have any enchanted stuff? No, he's got gold armor, though. Oh, no, wait. Is his bow? His bow might be enchanted. Oh, don't, don't fall. He's going to fall off. Yeah, this is going to make things a little more difficult. Oh, what the heck? How did I miss that? Oh, he's got thorns. Did he drop some of it? I wish you could, like, steal enchantments off of... Oh, he's he dropped boots. Drop boots. Oh, and pants. And a bow. <laughs> and a bone. Or not a bow. Sorry, uh, an arrow and a bone. Is that... Why is that his uh, experience all the way back there? That looks really cool. The portal from underneath the water. I can't wait till I can make it even. I gotta keep an eye on the time here. Um, I don't want to record too much. What do we have? Protection too. So he didn't drop the thorn stuff. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. This is the look I was going for. But I think I reversed the colors. I think this should be white. This should be gray. And that should be white. To make it look a little more contrasty here at the bottom. I'm not sure what to do about this section though. Because it, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> uh, well, it'll, it'll probably stop a sprint too, won't it? It will. So I could move this one out more by one block. And we should be good. That's what I'll do. But I'm, I'm going to have to replace all the colors now. So... I'll be back in a long time. I guess I should probably show you the uh, thought process. Uh, I did it. I I'm, I'm in the process of making this smaller. I did it, and I hate the way that this just flattens out over here. It just doesn't look right to me. Ah, so I'm changing it again. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about this. Hmm, what's underneath? Is it just water? Yeah, it's just water. 
I just hate the way it looks right now. And I also feel there's not enough there's not enough circles. So I'm going to make it smaller. That should mean that it will look better, I hope. I still mm, it'll be white, gray, white. It'll probably come down here, which is okay, I think. We'll see. I'm just going to build it and then see what happens. All right, guys. So I got a bit of an idea and I'm hoping it'll work. It looks like it's going to work. Looks like everything is going to fit. Um, I'm hoping it'll look good at the end. But I think it will. For we are one short. This one needs to go two. So, boom. Oh, man, that is cool. So the walkway is like inset into the overall thingamabobber. That's right, technical term. That looks really good. Now all I really have to do is figure out these edges here. If I want them, they're, they're totally uneven right now. Now there's a walkway to go down this way as well, which is fine. Maybe we should close this off with like bushes and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, underneath here, I'm not sure what I'm going to put. I might make it just a pool of water. It might look really good like that. Oh, that entrance looks really good now though. Trees, yeah, I think we need some greenery around. I might make the only entrance into the house through here, so that means I'd have to cover this off with probably some bushes or something. Or I could just, just raise, well, I could leave it open. It's not a big deal. I could also access it through here, which is not a problem as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on what I'm going to do for down here, though. All this, I think I'm, I'm going to just remove. It needs to be green down here. What if we just have a just a step like that? Step down. If we continue the trend like this. That might work. Or you know what? If we do this. It'll probably look even better. Just because I want to cover this up. Yeah, I know I just wasted a bunch of slabs. I didn't have to do that. Huh, yeah, I like that. That's that's good. That's good. And then we'll probably put some trees here or something. Or bushes. Something to decorate. Either way, these pumpkins are gone. Get out of here, pumpkins. In fact, let's get rid of these seeds too. And I might even get rid of the melons. Who knows? Come on. Just... I know I can place blocks, but this is much more fun. Yes. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So that's all going to be green. All right, let's do the same on this side. That looks pretty clean. Although, what if we did that and that? Mm, no. But I like this block there. So let's put this block here as well. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to be. Let's break these up. And I think I'm going to start moving chests now. Uh, I'm going to place the chests first to see uh, how I like them. I want them all in my house here. Hopefully they're going to look good. Um, let's do this. Oh, that looks really nice. I got to, you know what, I'm going to go grab a, like a stack of dirt or something. I got to see what this looks like from above. So that's how I'm judging everything. I have to admit that looks pretty fantastic. Yep. I'm very happy with that. I love the way that drops down like that's I, mm, mm, so good. <laughs> and that looks really good too. Man, it's really coming together this place. Really coming together. I got to get some satellite lilies going for the animals too. Can't wait to get villagers in there. I also have to make this entrance here. I was going to put, mm, what should we do? Should we, oh, you know what? This corner, these corners here might be perfect for chests. Let's go check that out. So these edges, they seem like the perfect spot for chests. Um, because we can put chest, 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 chest. These are trap chests. And we could put the, um, oh man, I don't have, 
oh, I want to test this too. Okay, so many things to do. Um, okay, let's let's first first things first. So let's make some item frames. This is what I want to do. Because they're they're staggered like this, we can put what they are on the side here and still access them pretty easily, or the other way around. I'll put them over he over here and access them through the side. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the chests. I can actually fit a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six times three. Even if I, yeah, seven. 21 chests on either side? That's pretty good. That is going to be the plan. Now, it'll probably look weird from the outside, but what can you do? Oh, why am I removing them? I don't need to remove them. Well, I guess I need to remove the trap chests. There's no need for trap chests here at this very moment. Uh, so let's do that. That's going to look good. Let me make... I wanted to die <laughs> uh, to see if I spawn here because a lot of people were saying I'm not going to spawn on the glass. So I wanted to test that theory. Do I even have glass on me? No. I was going to replace the bottom here anyway. So here, I'm setting my spawn. Okay. And now we're going to go and kill ourselves. Let's take all this off. Let's put it all in here. Don't want to lose anything because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prick myself to death. And this stuff might get damaged in the pricking process. And right, here we go. Seth's gonna wonder. <laughs> He's gonna wonder what's going on. But uh, we're gonna test. This is for science, everybody. For science. All the people in the comments saying, oh, he's gonna, he's, he's not going to be able to spawn there because there's not a solid block next to his bed. It's glass. Well then, folks. We'll soon find out. Let's see how Seth reacts to this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Let's see what is he gonna say anything? Ouch! <laughs> oh, they were right. People were right. Yeah, it was for science testing to see if I spawn on glass or not. The answer is not. Um. Yeah, we spawned back at spawn. Wow, spawn is like right here, huh? That's pretty interesting. So that sucks. I'm gonna have to set up a, uh, I guess a little area for the bed itself so I can actually spawn there when I die. Uh, how many deaths do I have now? 20, that's the big 2-0. <laughs> I feel so proud of me. Uh, yeah, so, hmm, that's a shame. I'll see you when I get back there. So what do you guys think? Is this cool? I kind of like it. I really do. I can even put... Man, I can I can stack this place with torches. I'm not sure if I should have it all on one side or have it on both sides like I'm experimenting with right now. I'm not going to have enough wood actually to make... Oh, I'm two chests short. I'm two chesticles short. Hmm. You know what else I'm short on? Time! Because we have to go. Um, let me know what you guys think. I don't know, I'm willing to listen to... Where was my stuff? Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, look at that, I have two trap chests. I don't want to use trap chests, though. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about everything that we did today. The squid transportation, the steps, the chests, even the science experiment. Leave it in the comments. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Please check out the beefy tune. Great music from a great band. Canadian band, by the way. Gotta support my Canadian sister. <laughs> There's a, the lead singer's a, a girl. I guess I'm supporting everybody in the band, though, not just her. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.